Hello FlossTube and welcome to my channel, it's Laurel the Worldwide Stitcher and welcome to FlossTube number 6. Now, this is the second time that I've recorded this video today. I literally did it about 10 minutes ago and then went to upload it and realised there was no sound. So I'm starting again. Now the whole video was nearly half an hour long and this one's probably going to be about the same length as I'm going to try and remember everything that I just spoke about. Strange, it was only, what, 10 minutes ago that I recorded it? And I can't really remember. But hey! Anyway, welcome to my returning subscribers and anyone who is new and has stumbled across this channel. Welcome, you're very welcome here. And I hope that you enjoy this video. So I know that this is very rare that I would do a video so quick after my last video. It's only been just over a week. But, since that video, and since I mentioned all the changes that were happening, a lot of stitching has happened. So that's really good. Um, but I'll give a quick life update first, then we'll move on to the stitching, and then we'll just... I'll probably just ramble at the end, as I do, normally. So, life update. As you can see, I am filming this in another new location. This is our flat that we live in in London as we are both now well and truly back to work. On the subject of work, I got back from a trip yesterday. For those of you that do not know, I work as cabin crew out of London and I got back from a work trip yesterday. Was gonna film this video then, but no. Um, I was extremely tired and the video just would have been crap. So I decided I'd wait and do it today. The other reason for doing it today is if you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm working on a project that's a surprise. And the person that it's for is not in today. He's working. So now it's a really good time. So like I say, well and truly back to work now. It's great being back. Um, I was really nervous before going back. But actually, it's okay. It's, it's different. But it's really good. I'm really enjoying being back. It was great being on furlough and everything, but now it's it's nice to have a purpose, it's nice to be going back to work, having routine, although with the job I do, I, I don't, really, don't really call it a normal routine. But yes, it's really great being back. It actually has given me more stitching time, which is strange, because you'd think being on furlough that you'd have loads and loads of time. But actually, I've got more done in this last week than I did the whole time I was on furlough. So... <laughs> That's random, but okay. So that's it really for life update. It's only been over a week, not a lot has happened between going to work and then doing obviously every day to day, day to day things. The weather today is really miserable, really grey and it's raining. So what better day, what better way to spend a day than sitting, doing a floss tube video, watching movies and doing a bit of stitching. Just to say that all the projects I'm going to show you, there is only three. They're all still on their frames because, like I say, I'm been planning on doing some stitching after I've done this video. And I know it's very naughty to leave your projects on the frames. So that's bad. Naughty. So, moving on to the stitching. Like I said, I've been stitching on three things this week. Two of which I mentioned in my last video. One of which I didn't, but we'll get on to that one when we get to it. And then after I've shown you what I have been stitching and talked a bit about each project, I'll then talk about my plans going forwards and a little bit of exciting news, well exciting for me, that I wanted to share with you. And then just wrap it up. So, what have I been working on? The first project that I've been working on, I mentioned it in my last video, it's a surprise, as I've already said, for my boyfriend Matt. He doesn't know he's getting it. So if you are watching this video, which you probably won't be because you don't normally watch my videos turn it off or you will ruin your surprise and if you don't do what I say and don't turn it off then you've ruined your surprise and then it's your fault so you've been warned so like I say this pattern is from Etsy and I will link the the shop down below it's a digital digital download pattern it was really quick to you know appear so that you can download it Absolutely loving stitching on it. It's been stitched, I think it's 28 count, but it might be 32. 
See, if I was more organised, I would have measured the, fa- the the squares before I did this. So it's either 28 count or 32 count fabric. Either way, it's been stitched over one. And I'm not doing it on a hand eyes. So all of this is stitched. All of the pitch. Oh, I've got a really itchy nose. All of the picture that I'm going to show you is stitched. Excuse the arrows and the heart. It is The Simpsons. So you've got Homer, Marge, Santa's Little Helper, Snowball 2, Lisa, Maggie and Bart sitting on their couch. And yes, the pink is all stitched. The blue is all stitched. They are all stitched. The couch is all stitched. And you know what? Even though this is so small, um, as I say, it's on either 28 count or 32 count over one. I'm loving it. So, progress wise. Here it is. So like I say, this is the one that I'm classing as my travel piece. I say travel piece because it's the one that's, that is in my work, my work bag. It's been with me to, on the last two trips that I've done, which are the two that I've done since being back, it's been with me to Kuwait and more recently it's been with me to Nigeria. And this is the one that I stitch when I'm away. So as you can see, this one is quite good because you can actually stitch the outline, which is what, what I am doing, which is what this bit of black, the black is on here. And my idea behind that was, if I stitch the, the background, the, the, the background, the outline, one, it means I'm not stitching all this pink all at the same time, the pink, which is here, and here. This camera's like completely back to front to what I'm used to. So it means I get a break from the pink, and it also means that if I, if and when um, I get a break at work, I can just fill in the colours within the the outline, which means I don't have to get out my Kindle, my Kindle Fire, or my iPads, and it's great because this is on Patty Keeper, and it highlights all the symbols, it's great. And I can just literally sit and stitch, like I have been doing with Marge's hair, sit and stitch all this blue, and then just mark it all off in one big chunk once I'm done, which is amazing. So my plan for this this afternoon, I'm going to stitch a bit more of the outline, maybe work a bit over here, move on to Lisa, and probably maybe do a bit more in Homer there. But leave all the colour so that I've actually got something to do when I'm at work. When obviously on my break, obviously not not when I should be working because that would just be silly. Uh, the needle minder is the needle minder that I mentioned in my last video. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me put the needle in there. Um, it is from Ing Stitch. She's a fellow YouTuber, fellow floss tuber, and she also has an Etsy store. I know you can't really see it. It's a tarot card needle minder, and it's of the moon. It does say the moon down there. Um, being that I'm a Cancerian, I am ruled, my ruling planet is the moon, so I thought that was absolutely perfect. Absolutely love it. It's a good magnet. Oh, I've got a really itchy face. And I thought it was perfect for this project because I don't have a Simpsons needle minder. So if anyone knows where you can get a Simpsons needle minder, please leave a comment. And that would be really interesting. One more thing about this project, Marge's hair. Now, if you watch The Simpsons, obviously, and probably if you don't watch The Simpsons, to be fair, everyone knows that Marge has blue hair. Now, Marge's hair is stitched in 995. No, no, five. On here, this colour looks darker than how it's stitching up, and it looks more like what her hair colour actually should be. When I'm stitching this, it looks really light, but that's the called for colour. I'm sure once it's all done, it's going to look really good, and I'm probably just freaking out because I've only done a little bit. But I'm just a bit worried. But like I say, on here it actually looks looks really good. So yeah, I'll keep going with it and just see see what it comes out like at the end. Really loving the detail on their faces though. And I mean, this is just um, one strand over one, the outline, and I just think it looks amazing. I really love this project. And I think for just over a week, I mean, two trips, that is, that's two trips. And when I say trip... Um, it's like 24 hours away and then your two flights either side so you do you fly out one day have the next day off fly back on the third day so it's not I was saying trips it's not like a week away so I think for the time that I've actually had 
working on this. I'm really impressed with the progress that I've made. Um, I'm not exactly a fast stitcher, but yeah, really loving that one. And it's something different to um, the other two projects that I'm going to show you. Um, next thing I've been working on, well, before I get into the next thing I've been working on, there's a little bit of a story to come. So, as you all know, I had a Mirabilia. I was working on a Roses of Province, and if you recall back a few videos ago, well, probably my, I think it was my third video. Third video, maybe? Second or third? Around, around then. Um, I restarted her. Originally, I was stitching her on the cord for linen. Now, I'd never stitched on linen before, and I don't think I'm ever going to stitch on linen again because I did not get on with it. Um, my my personal choice of fabric, if I'm doing a hand dyed, it would have to be 32 count. So, from that, I went on Lakeside Needlecrafts and I bought some gorgeous hand dyed fabric. It was purples and pinks, and it was it was perfect. It really was perfect, and I restarted her on that. This was after I tried to stitch on one over one on 25 count. That didn't work out either. So anyway, this lovely hand dyed fabric came. And I'd done quite a big portion of her. Let me show you what, what the pattern looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before. That's that's Rose of the Province. I've done, I don't know, I've done quite a good portion um, of her. And I'd started to put in some beads. Now... I don't know what it was that possessed me or what it was that said to me in the back of my head take the beads out so I took all the beads out and I was stitching away stitching away stitching away and then about a week um, what are we now yeah about a week ago I noticed that I'd made a mistake and the mistake was that it wasn't the mistake wasn't that I stitched her skin one over one. That wasn't a mistake. But within stitching her skin one over one, I, I'd realised I'd made a mistake and I'd pulled the, the the stitches too tight, which had made the fabric warp. So as me and Matt have had some time off, we we started watching Harry Potter right from film one all the way through. So we put Harry Potter on. I think it was Harry Potter two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We're now up to number seven. Definitely Hello's part one. Um, we put that on and I thought, right, now's a really good time to sit, take the stitches out, restitch it. So I was taking the stitches out and I managed to catch the fabric and laddered the whole way across the fabric. I was devastated. Utterly devastated. Because I loved her. And she was a she was a Christmas present from that, and it was beyond repair. I was that devastated that I didn't even take a photo of the damage. I just had to get rid of it because I was I was so devastated. So anyway, a couple of hours passed, and I thought, right, I can't waste all this fabric because there was still loads of fabric. Because when I ordered the fabric, I ordered a piece that was huge. So what I did was. Chopped it off, chopped off the bit that I'd been stitching on and kept the other bits. So it gave me three, three pieces. Um, one of the pieces was really long and thin, which was, I mean, unless I was going to do something really small, probably not going to be really worth using for anything else. But then while I was sorting through my threads and putting things away, trying to tidy up, because um, at the minute where we're moving house everything's sort of in boxes it's starting to be put into boxes and I thought do you know what there's stuff everywhere I need to tidy this up I found another Mirabilia chart that I'll be honest I totally forgot about and I thought do you know what I've got this fabric here and I don't really know what I'm going to stitch on it I wonder if this Mirabilia will fit on the fabric because I already sort of had plans to start you know, this. So the Mirabilia that I found was June's Pearl Fairy. And there she is. Now, my birthday's in June. So what better way to mark my birthday than stitching June Pearl Fairy? So June Pearl Fairy is a lot smaller than... 
Rosa's a province. She's only 11 and a quarter by 16 and three quarters, which was perfect for the fabric that I had left. So, last Wednesday, I made a start on her. Made a start sorting out the threads that I needed. And while I was sorting out the threads, I realised that I needed a few DMCs. Fair enough. And then I also thought, I can't remember when I bought this chart. I wonder if like, the, I'm going to be able to get the beads and things. Um, I don't know if, if I'm there. It says when she was printed. No. I'll link the design below anyway, because I can't see when she was um, when she was released. But I thought to myself, I wonder if I'm going to be able to get the beads and the embellishment pack. Because there's no point me sitting here sorting through all these threads if I'm not going to be able to, to get them. So I went on, on to Lakeside Needlecraft. They had most of the seed beads that I needed, but they didn't have the treasures. Then I went on to eBay to see if anyone was selling it on there. They had the some of the beads, one of the treasures, but still wasn't the full. Then I went on to um, one, two, three stitch and some of the American sites, but then I thought, oh, do you know what? If I order from there, guaranteed to get stung by customs. And I'll be honest, I kind of gave up with it for a little bit. I was like, do you know what? I, I, I just, I'm not in the mood for this. So I said to Matt about it and I said, oh, I really, uh, you know, I'm really upset about Roses, a province. And I really, really like stitching on the Mirabilias. So he went online and he came across Hawkins Hobbies. They're based in the UK. I've, I've never heard of them before. And they were selling the... Um, the um, bead pack and so I managed to get all of the DMC the beads and the treasures from them ordered it on the Wednesday afternoon no I didn't yes I did ordered it on the Wednesday afternoon and it was here by the Friday morning amazing amazing company definitely would lose them again like I say I'll link their company below but yes, absolutely amazing. Amazing service. Can't fault them at all. So then I made a start on it on Friday. And this one is being kept. Well, between this one and The Simpsons. I don't have any project bags as such. Um, because I don't really take my projects anywhere apart from The Simpsons. So obviously this one, this bag that I'm going to show you now will probably be the one that I transport that one in. It's being kept in my Archangel Gin glass. Um, it's a Norfolk Gin. And we have a bit of a gin collection. Um, and we also have a lot of glasses that correspond with the gin that we that we own. So, yes, it's being kept in there. And this is my, pro my progress on Mirabilia June's Pearl Fairy. And the, it looks really washed out. But I have done some beading because... What I thought was, I have a um, 19 by 19 Q-snap, so, which will be more than big enough for this. So I can bead as I go, because it's never going to be a problem about the beads getting squished. Absolutely love the colours on this. The pinks, um, the yellows. It's just beautiful. Uh, and I think it looks really nice on the fabric. Because I went on the fabric viewer and I didn't know that um, Lakeside Needle, Lakeside Needlecraft, their fabric doesn't show up on there. So I did try and find a fabric that was similar, a purpley pink. And it did look really nice, but obviously because it wasn't the exact fabric, I wasn't, wasn't sure. So, but so far I think it looks really good. And now the sun has decided to come out while I'm doing this. So it's making everything look really awful. Sorry this is still on the Q-snap, but like I say, I'm hopefully going to do a bit of work on this this afternoon, as I am trying to fit, put in even a strand of thread every day. Um, Needleminder-wise, we have got uh, Tinkerbell. This came from Etsy. It came from Etsy years ago. Um, it definitely came from Etsy. If I can find the shop that I bought it from, I will link it below, but like I say, it was years ago, so not holding out too much hope for that. And this one, this is from my Needle Minder of the Month Club that I do with uh, EJ's Crafty Hangout on Facebook. And it says one stitch at a time. 
So really loving that one. Really loving the colours. Um, really enjoying that. Lastly, I had another new start. Surprise, surprise. It wasn't one that I mentioned in my last video. Um, basically, I was watching... Oh, who's an old YouTube what was I watching? I was watching Lisa S. Stitch's YouTube, and I believe that she started this for Mania. Now, if you're watching and you didn't start this for Mania, it wasn't this Mania, but previous, then I'm really sorry. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I really shouldn't be buying anything else. But I bought it. It's a Heaven and Earth design and it's the, currently the only Heaven and Earth design that I'm working on. I say currently, more to come on that. And I, yeah, so yes, it's a Heaven and Earth design. It's by Lisa Parker. And it's Ornament Witching Hour. It is currently the smallest project that I'm working on. And it's also the smallest hade that I actually own. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. So what I'm doing with this one is, I am working, so I started this one last week, and orig originally I was just stitching on it, and I was like, stitching and stitching and stitching until I was bored. And I found that I was starting to get tired of it. So then I thought to myself, right, mix it up a bit. So since Friday, I have been stitching 100 stitches on this a day. And obviously when I went away at the weekend, I did 150 stitches on Sunday, didn't take it with me Monday, did 150 stitches yesterday. I haven't done my 100 stitches on it today, so that will again be another job for this afternoon. It's gonna be quite busy. So yes, like I said, I've been doing 100 stitches on it a day, and. I love it. This is being stitched two over two on 20 count Ada. And here is my progress. Now, like I say, I started this about a week ago and I am so impressed with the progress on this. Really, really am impressed. This is just doing a hundred stitches a day and I love the coverage. I'm really liking the 20 count Ada, really liking it. I know you shouldn't draw on it, but this is just how big the design. I wanted to make sure I had enough Ada, which I do, because it's all folded on. And I can actually fit the whole design on my frame, so I'm not gonna have to move it, which is great. And yes, 100 stitches a day. All I'm doing is, I'm not gonna park on this one, so I'm gonna have to obviously stitch these in. Taking one one thread, um, because it's in Pattern Keeper, just taking the thread wherever. The reason this one's still on my needle is this was yesterday's thread. And I, I, I got a bit tired, obviously, doing it after being at work. So I'm just taking a thread, stitching it till it runs out, and then taking the next one and the next one. I am missing colours for this one. I think there's about ten. But what I've decided to do is stitch all the colours that I've got, and then maybe buy them bit by bit. Um, because like I say, we are moving house and obviously money can be better spent on other things rather than floss. Needle minders for this one. We've got Marie from the Aristocats. Like Tinkerbell, I bought her on Etsy. It would help if I was speaking to you, not to the fabric. I bought her on Etsy, but I bought her a long time ago. So if again I can find the link to the shop, I will link that. And my other one is one of my personalised needle minders. This is my boyfriend Matt uh, at work. And I got that from No More Lost Needles on Facebook. And you can't see it because the glare is so bad. But yes, really like that one. Oh, just to go back to the Simpsons piece. On the Simpsons piece, some of the colours... Um, it's called for I don't have either now I had a thought with the Simpsons piece because it's not hate I've got sort of so for I'll, I'll do it for an example for example Marge's dress is stitched in 906 now I've got 905, 905. I think that will be okay because I basically I've got lots of skeins of thread but it's never the thread that I need so I want to start to sort of use that up a little bit so I'm wondering if one number different on DMC is going to make that much of a difference. 
any thoughts? If you've got any thoughts on that or any opinions, pop them in the comments below and obviously I will get back to you. But if not, I think I might just try it, see what it looks like. If it looks naff, I can always take it out and do it in the proper colour. But then if it's not noticeable, then I might just leave it and then at least it uses up some of the some of the threads that I've got, which will please Matt because we seem to be inundated with thread. So that's all I've been working on this week. Um, I've done a bit of knitting, but obviously this is not knitting tube. So I won't really go into that too much. Like I mentioned before, I'm making myself a cardigan and I'm knitting stuff for our friend's baby who's due in January. That's all I've been doing with that. Haven't really been doing much else. So on to plants. So two, so two really exciting parcels have arrived. They're both in Norwich, which is great. So I can show you the pictures of them, but obviously until my next video, I can't actually show you the, um, I can't actually show you them. One of them is the fabric that I ordered from Dawn at Crafty Kitten. Now I can show you the screenshot from Fabric, from fabric Viewer. It's Rosa Opalescent, Opalescent 32 count. And I was playing around to see if I could do Roses of Province on it and what she would look like. And she looks absolutely beautiful, so that's what that fabric's going to be used for. So it's no pleasant fabric. And I should be getting that on Sunday. So that's amazing. And really looking forward to getting that. And then the second thing that has been... We think it's that, because... We don't really know what else it will be. My Chatelaine has arrived. And it's called Romantic Rose Garden. And it is beautiful. Now, I've never stitched a Chatelaine, a Chatelaine before. Ever. I've got the pattern. It's in my good notes. Ready to go. I've looked at the pattern. And I can't make head or tail of it. Um, I'm hoping once I've got the, the threads and the fabric and everything, I'm hoping that it's going to make more sense. I've sorted out the DMC that I need for it, which is all ready to go. It's all in its little box. And I thought, because it wasn't making sense to me, I started to have a little browse on YouTube. And I realised that actually quite a few people have stitched on Chatelaine's. So the three main people that, the three main people, the three main floss tubers that I've watched, um, for advice on chatelaines there is Teresa little stitcher but then I, i'm subscribed to her so obviously i've watched her chatelaine videos before but i went back and i watched her chatelaine videos um mrs milky bar kid she did a really good video for beginners on chatelaines it was really good and also crafty lisa she did her her series starting from the unboxing to the and you were sort of with her from the first stitch as it progressed. Really, really good. It made me really excited to start. I'm still really nervous about starting it. But I, I just want to dive in now. Um, it's completely different to anything I've ever stitched on before. But yeah. I'm sure in my next few floss tubes, probably my next one actually, I'll be on here saying, help, look, it's it's gone wrong. And I'm sure someone will be able to help me. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but you never know. I ordered the full kit, um, which does include the beads, the special speciality threads, and the linen from European Cross Stitch. Never used them before. We'll use them again. The communication's been amazing. Um, it's been really good. So yeah, really happy about that. And I can't wait for that to come. So plans going forwards. Um, so Simpsons, which is this one. And Ornament Witching Hour. These two are going to be regulars in my YouTube videos. So obviously Ornament Witching Hour, I'm stitching 100 stitches on a day. And Simpsons is my travel project. So you're probably going to be sick of seeing them because they will be making an appearance in my videos. I didn't catch that. Oh, Siri wants to be involved in the video. My Mirabilia June Fairy, I'm going to stitch on her until December. And then for January and February, 
I'm going to bring in roses. So my mirror, mirror billiards are going to be on a two month rotation. So I'll do two months on one, two months on the other. Apart from, apart from June. So obviously I'll stitch on June fairy until January. And then February, March will be roses. April, May, June will be June fairy. And then back to the two months after that. So the, you know, there, there'll be four projects, the, the three projects that I've spoken about, plus roses, plus there's going to be one more project that's going to be constant in my rotation, which I'm hoping to start either today, or um, probably not tomorrow because it's my brother's birthday, but hopefully this week. It's already on my frame, it's on my 11 by 11 Q snap, and it's a, it's a hade, it's a big hade. Um, I've got all the threads for it, but unless I get another big project, this one will sort of be my, my big project. And it is Maui Princess and it's artwork by Hannah Daisy. I think that it's absolutely amazing. I've been on holiday to Hawaii. I've only been to Oahu. I've never been to Maui, but I just think that is amazing. The colours, it, it's, it's just beautiful. And the picture is not really making it look amazing. But, yeah. So, like I say, there'll be Mary Princess, Simpsons, Ornament Wit Witching Hour, Chatelaine, and then the Mirabilia on a two-month rotation. So, there'll be five projects. And what I did learn from my last video was... Because I wanted to start so much, I got too overwhelmed. So I'm going to keep it at five. And if I want any new starts, it has to be something like really small, like a little card or something. Um, keep it at five. And start to get some finishes because I watch all these these floss tube videos and everyone's getting finishes. And I'm like, oh, I'm not. But that's because I don't stick with it. So it's not the new year. It's not new year. But... October resolution is going to be stick with these five projects and actually get some progress on them. I think going forward, I'm going to try and do my floss tube either every two weeks, between every two weeks to every month. Just because with work, I can't guarantee that I'll be in, able to because I'm not taking all my projects away with me. So I'm not going to leave it a long time like I did before my last one. But I'm not going to be able to be as regular as some people. I would do try and do them weekly. But depending on trip length with work, I might not get much pro progress. Like on my Simpsons one. This one. I say I've been on two trips with work. But they're 24 hours away. So it's not like it's a week. So... Yeah, I think a two-week minimum for Floss Tube. But obviously, if you guys would prefer shorter videos, then I could try and do it a week to two weeks, whatever you prefer. So, I mean, this this one's over 30 minutes long, so <laughs> if you don't like the long videos, then apologies. But I can assure you that we are now at the end. So all that's left to say is, this is not cross-stitch related, so if you want to stop here, then that's fine. Won't be offended. And I hope you have a really, really, really good stitchy week. And I will see you next time. For those of you that are interested, like I mentioned in my last video, our friend Elliot is doing a, um, a running challenge. And he's also promoting mental health, which obviously is very important now, even more so with um, the current situation. He's doing amazing with his running challenge, I must say. And, yeah, he has YouTube and Instagram. And if you want to go and check him out, he does daily posts on both. So if you want to go and check him out, he really is amazing and inspiring. I'll pop his YouTube and his Instagram at the bottom of my video. And that's all there is to say, really. So I hope everyone has a really, really good stitchy week. I hope you're all having 
a good time, whether you're working or furloughed. I hope you're all keeping safe. And I will speak to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.